what's going on everyone welcome back to backtrack cinema my name is jason and welcome to my 31 days of horror in this episode we are doing the big three slashers and all their films in a in a bracket fight tournament style so all the nightmare on elm street movies all the halloween movies and all the friday the 13th movies to see who comes out on top as the best movie in this bracket fight tournament and we're not including freddy versus jason because it would have been 33 movies so this equals it out to 32 movies and this could be a lot of fun guys so comment down below all that jazz let me know what you think of the bracket challenge share the video around as well help the channel a lot subscribe to the channel please if you, especially if you're new to the channel and all that jazz and yeah let's just get to the bracket challenge all right so our first matchup is the original halloween versus jason goes to hell i like both these movies and i do like jason goes to hell but let's be honest here halloween is just a far better movie far better directed better music doesn't piss people off all that kind of stuff so halloween is the first one to win next up we got halloween 2018 versus jason x now i i hate jason x so much you know what i mean and i halloween 2018 is quite good so i think we went over this is going oh and just disclaimer to the way i seeded this this tournament i'm sorry i should have said this at the beginning the way i seeded this was the audience score on rotten tomatoes so the best movies of the audience score and the worst on the audience score you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm going to go with Halloween 2018 with this one. Ooh, New Nightmare versus Friday at 13.5, A New Beginning. Um, You know, a Friday at 13.5, A New Beginning is, you know, it's it's a fun slasher. I don't like the fact there's, you know, there's no Jason in it. It's not the real Jason. It's really exploitive. You know, you got the duty, you got the kills, you got the blood even though the kills are cut away and all the time, but, but new nightmares is such a better movie from story atmosphere. Uh, Freddie is awesome in it. So new nightmare definitely wins this one. Yeah. We're just going to bang through these really quick guys. Halloween two versus nightmare on Elm street. Part five nightmare on Elm street. Part five is just a weird freaking movie. This is where Freddie's really getting into comedy land here. And Halloween two is still a pretty gritty, um, Halloween movie with a really good Michael and a really good Dr. Loomis. So Halloween two wins that Rob zombies, Halloween against nightmare on Elm street, part two, Freddy's revenge. I do like both these movies. So this is the good little matchup, but I got to go nightmare on Elm street Two. Freddy is scary as hell on that. And the story is, you know, did something different. People didn't like at the time, but you know, it has something to say, and it's actually people are really coming to this movie now. So I'll go Nightmare on Elm Street 2 for that one. Halloween ends against Halloween 5. Oh, my God. Both these are dog shit movies. I don't like any of these movies, but if I had to choose, I would probably go Halloween ends. Ooh, Friday the 13th Part 4 versus Friday the 13th Part 3. Friday the 13th Part 3 is your fun movie. It's a lot of fun with uh, a great third act. Takes a little while to get there. We get Jason. He's iconic. He's badass. He, my boy gets his mask. And he starts tearing shit up. And then Friday the 13th Part 4, he's tearing shit up even more. And Ted White's building off what Richard Brooker did with the character. But he's more swift. He's brutal. The third act and final chapter is just awesome. Really fun characters like you'd see in a John Hughes film. So I'm going to go final chapter. Friday the 13th part two versus the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. This is easy. Friday the 13th part two. I hate the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. It's, you know, they try to pay homage to the original, but all they're doing is that the scenes end up being worse cgi overload some actors and actresses in this seem like they don't even give a crap not that freddy's bad in this but he's not given a lot to do but there is some memorable moments like the diner scene at the beginning is pretty good and the part where freddy's like um really he's using that psychological edge you know what i mean where the guy's hanging upside down 
And he goes, you know, your brain's still active after you've been killed or whatever, like seven minutes after you've been killed. And he goes, that means we still have seven minutes to play or six minutes to play. Good stuff there. But I'm going with Sackhead Jason, Friday the 13th Part 2. We got Ginny being a badass. Okay, let's see who moves on here. Halloween 2018, the original Halloween. I got to go original Halloween. Michael Myers is, you know, the original Michael Myers is still my favorite. I like what they did with Halloween 2018. And going for this movie, the 2018 is um is a good watch. That's a good one to punch combo. But you can't be, I'm an original guy, I guess. I'm a pure horror fan, so I'm going to go with Halloween. New Nightmare versus Halloween 2. Ooh, this is a little more tricky. Um, I would probably grade these movies the same. Halloween 2 and New Nightmares, you know, the same as far as the, my enjoyment out of them. Oh, man. But as the movie goes, I think New Nightmare is just a better movie. There you go. Oh, easy. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is the better story, is the better movie. Freddy is a hell of a lot better than this, Michael. At least we get to fucking see Freddy. You know what I mean? But um, Halloween ends. This doesn't work for me. So Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Oh, boy. Friday the 13th Part 4 versus Friday the 13th Part 2. Well, every matchup, there's a winner and there's a loser. Both these movies are good. They're fun date night horror flicks. Great slasher flicks. But Friday the 13th Part 4 is probably a perfect slasher so you know it just the way they ended it if this was going to be the the true ending it would have been a great ending the way they send jason off so final chapter i got halloween versus new nightmare um both great like i've been talking about these movies but i still got to go with the original halloween here i just think it is such a great directed movie you know what i mean carpenter just really for its budget and everything, it really, you know, it stands the test of time. It really does. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 versus Final Chapter. I just, a lot, I, these both, both these movies are graded the same. They're probably both four out of fives for me. Um, but Final Chapter, I just get a lot more entertainment out and I, I just love it a little bit more. Halloween versus the final chapter. So a lot of you are going to freaking kill me for this, but I'm more entertained by Friday the 13th part four, the final chapter. I like it a little bit more. Jason's my boy. I just, I love Friday the 13th. So you know what? I'm just going to edge out Halloween just a little bit more with this. All right, over to the next side. Uh, original Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween Resurrection. Um. Easy, man. Obviously, a Nightmare on Elm Street. Nancy's awesome. Freddy is awesome. Resurrection's just dog shit. Even though the Haunted House stuff is a cool concept. Dream Warriors versus Jason Takes Manhattan. So, Jason Takes Manhattan is awesome. No, I'm just fucking with you. If Jeff is watching from our Friday the 13th Society, Jeff, cool. He loves this movie, but... Dream Warriors is just so awesome. It's so much fun bringing Nancy back. The music, the characters, it's just such an. It's an MTV Freddy, but it is awesome. The best balance of Freddy. Halloween Kills versus Halloween Three. I'm not big on Season of the Witch, whereas I think Halloween Kills is going to grow on me a little bit more. I love the kills in it. There's some things I could do without, obviously, but the flashback scene's amazing. So. I'm going to go with kills here. The original Friday the 13th versus Freddy's dead. This is easy. Friday the 13th all day. Freddy's dead is just a shit show of a movie. It is absolute fucking garbage, man. Oh, original Friday the 13th. Jason lives versus the curse of Michael Myers. Both part sixes. I love Jason lives. It's so meta. It's so fun. It's got action in it, horror, comedy. It's got a little bit of everything for all of us to enjoy, man. And Curse of Michael Myers is, is such a mixed story. It's such a convoluted story. The story sucks, man. It's dog shit. And, you know, Michael is still a little bit better in it, but not great in it. Um, I mean, the kills are vicious and everything. I'm just talking about his stance and 
you know, how intimidating is and all that. But Jason lives all day. Halloween four versus new blood. This is tricky, man. Um, I'm a Jason guy, man. I'm leaning towards new blood on this one, even though it has problems, but so does Halloween four. Uh, you know what? Halloween four is just, is not as boring. There's a, there's the characters in new blood and the pacing just really brings it down. So I'm going to go with Halloween four here. H2O versus Nightmare 4. Now, I have my problems with Nightmare 4 Dream Master, but it does have some good characters. I like Alice. I like the story of Alice and her brother and her father, all that drama that's going on there. It's entertaining still, even though we're going right into Comedy Zone with Freddy. And H2O is just, eh, I don't know. A lot of people like this one. They find it fun and everything. I find Jamie Lee overacts a little bit in it. I'm not big on the characters as much. Michael really brings this movie down, even though it has a good opening. But I'm going to go with Dream Master, man. Dream Master for sure. Ooh, the Halloween 2 remake versus the Friday the 13th remake. Oh, uh, man. Friday the 13th remake is has its problems for me. But it's so fun, and that opening is so awesome. Both these movies have great openings with the Halloween 2 with Michael tearing it up in the hospital, Jason tearing it up in the woods. Both of them have some pretty bad dialogue, that is for sure. So this one's kind of a difficult one for me because I have a little more fun with Friday the 13th, even with the bad characters, and I like Jason. But, oh, man, I'm going to... I'm going to go with Halloween 2 on this one, but this one was a tough matchup. Original Nightmare on Elm Street versus Dream Warriors. Oh, man, this is tough. Both Freddies are awesome. We get a more serious Freddy, and, and Dream Warriors has the best balance of Freddy. I may like Nancy more in Dream Warriors, but the original Nightmare on Elm Street is just so good, so unique. Storytelling is awesome in it. You know what I mean? Got to go with the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween Kills versus the original Friday. I'm going with the original Friday here just because I just think it's, I watch it more. Halloween Kills has problems. So does the original Friday at 13th. But I love Mama Voorhees. I love the kills in it. You know what I mean? A lot of people find it boring. I don't. Whereas Halloween Kills. It, yes, it has a good flashback, but it has some annoying fucking characters in this movie. So I'm going with original Friday the 13th. Ah, oh, Jason Lives versus Halloween 4. Halloween 4, you don't stand a chance against fucking Jason Lives, man, in my opinion. Jason Lives is absolutely awesome. I just love this movie. There's so many great moments in this movie. You know, this the, the idea of that Jason's coming back to camp adds this level of tension. The whole opening is just awesome. The atmosphere, Jason coming out of the ground, out of the grave, the old Frankenstein homage. It's just awesome. So Jason lives all day. Nightmare 4 versus Halloween 2. Now, I will go with Halloween 2 on this one for sure. It's good. Like, as fun as ha Nightmare 4 can be. Um, not, not big on the, the way, uh, Freddy comes out of the grave. That's kind of a dog shit scene, literally, but Halloween too. I did. I like the psychological approach to this movie, the grittiness, how dark it is. The performances are really good. So I'll go with Halloween too. Nightmare on Elm Street, two originals versus the original Friday, the 13th. Friday, the 13th doesn't have a chance here, man. What Wes Craven delivered here was so damn unique. And so scary, man. It's still a very scary movie. I still actually think both these movies are pretty scary, but let's go with Nightmare on Elm Street. Jason Lives versus Halloween 2. Man, I got to go with Jason Lives easily here. I mean, because there is a lot of things that, that I don't like about Halloween 2 as much as I like it, but I love everything about Jason Lives. All right, I think this is the final... I think this is the final on this side. Nightmare on Elm Street versus Jason Lives. I love both these movies. They're both top. Like Nightmare on Elm Street is one of my favorite horror films. Jason Lives is one of my favorite horror films. They're both great slashers. They're the best versions of themselves. Um, 
Oh, but Nancy's so good. Nightmare on Elm Street is so damn good, man. I got to go Nightmare on Elm Street. And for our final, we got Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter versus Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street's just too good, man. It is absolutely too good. Final chapter's fun. Love the characters. It's a perfect slasher flick. But I got to give Nightmare on Elm Street for just it's scarier. It's got the best final girl of all time. It's so unique. It's got this tension. The music is just awesome. So go on Nightmare on Elm Street here. And there you go. That is Nightmare on Elm Street here, guys, is the winner here for sure. If you look at how we how we dealt with this, we blasted through this pretty quick, but Nightmare on Elm Street is the winner for sure. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this Big 3 Slasher Bracket Tournament. This was a lot of fun, man, blasting through all these films. I, this, uh, they're, they're, they're icons for a reason, right? They're icons for a reason. So please comment down below what you think of this bracket challenge, and maybe we'll do more of them in future episodes and all that jazz. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, share the videos around. That really helps the channel a lot. Hit that like button. As always, guys, you'll be doing me a big favor. So my name is Jason. You've been watching Backtrack Cinema. Down below is the next video you guys should watch. So go down the rabbit hole and all that. I will see you next time and I will see you in the movies. Cheers.